Hey guys, welcome to another video from Homesteading Off the Grid. I'm setting up here where we had a campfire last night. Came up and cooked hot dogs on a stick and uh, had a good time. It's morning now, the morning after, and I love to come up here and have my coffee and do some thinking. I usually face out that way, but I'm recording from this angle so I can show you guys my view. I sit here and watch the sun come up. I get up early around five. <sighs> So anyway, uh, I'm going to go on a bit of a ramble here, and this is not the kind of thing that I've ever done on this channel, but I've had an epiphany over the last few days that I wanted to share with some of you folks. Actually, I want to ask if you agree with my take on this, and if you do or you don't, please comment. Um, but you might be struggling with something right now, a similar situation. <clears throat> I'm just going to get right to it. Um, I'm going to work this morning after a three-day break a three-day break that I took by my choosing and I'm going to tell you why you know they say that if you want to know who it is that has power over you look to see who it is that you're not allowed to criticize um, at times I've criticized my government at times I've definitely criticized the IRS um, but for the time being while I'm employed by this certain entity I'm not allowed to tell you well I can tell you who it is that I'm employed by but I'm not going to because if I mention any specifics or details about my employer or my employment with my employer, it's grounds for immediate termination. And for the time being, uh, I, I guess I need this job. However, there's one thing going on <clears throat> that uh, may cause me to walk out of work today and never go back. Um, and I'm leaving the door open to walk out of work for this specific reason on any given day and not go back. I'm an assistant courier for a very large entity, okay? I deliver things, a very common thing I deliver. And uh, at some point soon, I will be giving you specifics on all of this. But for now, uh, I'm gonna give you a brief background and tell you about this epiphany that I had while sitting in my doctor's office three days ago talking to my doctor, and I think he kinda had an epiphany too. Um, I went through a 90-day probationary period with this employer <clears throat> where they basically said you're going to work six days a week. We work on Sundays also. We, uh, my day off was Thursday and uh, it was 12-hour days, between 8 and 12-hour days, but sometimes we put in 13-hour days. And if you call out from work one time during this 90-day probationary period, it is grounds for immediate termination or at least to cancel renewal of your employment at the close of that 90-day probationary period. So I made it through this 90-day period, and there was a group of us, about half a dozen of us, that went through this uh, at the same time, plus or minus a week. And uh, we made it through, of course, thinking, well, once we get past this 90-day thing, they're going to give us two days a week off, right? I can handle the 12-hour days, but my gosh, I'd like to have two weeks off. I mean, you guys see how much work we do here on the homestead. Uh, we're still mowing a large part of this while we're reforesting a certain other part. We've got trees, gardens, all these things, and all these things we'd like to do. And I'm missing my wife and I'm missing my son. I mean, I got a job to help take care of my family uh, for the time being while I need to have a job to do that. Um, I mentioned to you I'm, I'm a writer and our revenues have been down for the last year and a half. But for many years, that's, that's how we supported ourselves exclusively and we will get there again but for the time being I had to have a job but I got the job to support my family <clears throat> not replace it and I mean that's one epiphany I started to have while I was in this 90-day probationary period that I was replacing my family with this job and my employer did not care but that's no surprise to any of you so anyway we make it through the 90-day period then the head honcho sends out a message there will be no more days off at all, period. Not even your one day a, a week off until further notice. So I'm like, wow, are you talking about bait and switch? They dangle that carrot of, hey, you make it through 90 days being good little boys and girls, and then we'll maybe give you like 40-hour work week instead of 60, give you two days off instead of one. But nope, no days off. So I thought, well, the paycheck's going to be nice. So I'm going, I'm going. I go 16 days straight. 10 to 12 hour days. This was in the 90s. We had a heat spell there. And then we had flush fl flash flood spells. And I I just called out after 16 days straight because I had, uh, I don't know, it was an incident with a 70 some year old man getting in my face because the wrong item had been delivered to his 
home the day before, not by me, but by another courier's assistant. And I mean, this guy was ready to have a fist fight and I almost gave it to him. And so I'm thinking, wow, if I'm at this point, I need to step back away from the heat. The flame's starting to burn. So I called out, <clears throat> went back to work a couple of days. And this young girl, 27, who is one of the best workers I've ever seen in my life. I mean, she works circles around me. And I have an athletic background. I was in the Army. And I'm a little older. I'm 44 now. But she was on like 20 or 21 days straight. And she just collapsed and had like this emotional breakdown and was crying and saying, I just can't physically do what you're asking me to do. So at that point, they came up to her and they said, go home and take tomorrow off. So these were the working conditions, and this is 2018, and in the United States with a very large, very known entity. So after that, I, I, I told my wife, I said, I'm not gonna go to work for three days. And so I called out for three days, and I went to see my doctor to get a note, say, hey, I'm not going to work for three days, and this is why. Now here comes the epiphany, and this is the, the pearl I'm, I'm gonna pass on to you. I'm, I'm unqualified to pass this pearl on. I'm going to point that out right now, but I'm going to pass it on anyway. I tell my doctor basically what I just told you, and he looks at me and he says, are you on any medications? And I said, no. And he said, well, maybe we need to look at getting you on a medication. Maybe I should send you to the psychiatrist so we can figure out which type you need. I said, absolutely not. And he looks at me like, and I said, doc, if I need to be medicated to go to my job, I need to quit my job. Okay, now I mentioned I'm, a, I'm not qualified to pass on this pearl. I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't, I'm not a medical doctor. I don't have, I'm not a licensed clinical social worker. I'm none of these things. So I am not qualified to give psychological advice or medical advice or advice about medications. I want to get that out there right now so you understand that. <clears throat> I'm a writer and not really a very good one, okay? So when it comes to medications, I'm not qualified, but I believe that when it comes to saying what's right for me and what's not right for me, I am very qualified because I'm me. And the way I see it, if I have to take medications to go to a job, I need to quit that job. So that, that was the epiphany. And, and the doctor looked at me like with this blank slate and I said, doc, I know that's probably just kind of like your go-to thing that uh, you say, but, but we ended up talking more. We ended up talking for two hours. We talked for so long that a couple of his nurses came in a couple of times to make sure everything was okay. Because I guess this guy doesn't spend this much time with, with people ordinarily, but he did with me. We really built a good rapport, and I like this guy, and I'm looking forward to seeing him again. We scheduled a 90-day follow-up. But we basically came to the agreement that when I go back today, and be it today, be it next week, they start doing this... Uh, no days off or immediate termination all these things I will walk out I will I will go and I won't go back and uh, I talked to my wife about it she's given me permission to do the same um, I needed a job before I took that one so if I do walk out because of these uh, I mean they're hostile emotionally and physically and health related hostile working conditions um, I can find another job after if I leave. So this is kind of a rant, I guess, and I'm kind of, I've recharged my batteries. The last three days I've been here, you know, minus going into town to see my doctor, but I've been out here. I've been with my family. We've been farming, gardening. Uh, I've been spending time in the woods and the fields, doing the things I enjoy, feeding the fish, and I'm ready to go back, okay? And I'm ready to go back and work eight to 12 hours today. And I'm ready to do that five days a week and I will do that five days a week but I my doctor said uh, I give you my permission to work five days a week okay that's all I'm doing I'm gonna give that place five days of my life per week and my family gets two full days I get two full days and if they can't deal with it fine I'll leave uh, and it may come to that but I will not take medication to be able to go to work. No, that's just not gonna happen. So, let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I should take the little purple pill and just go to a job that makes me miserable because they don't believe in days off for their employees? Let me know in the comments. Uh, 
Let me know if this helped you if you're in a similar situation. And as always, if you liked what you saw here, though it's a little off tangent, please subscribe to our channel, Homesteading Off the Grid.